I have to leave in like 30 minutes. <laughs> I look like this. We are here at the streamies. Trying to sneak on the, on the red carpet. We're trying to sneak in. It's not working so far, but we're trying. Guys, good morning. It's August 27th, and today is the day of the streamies. And I'm gonna teach you guys how I snuck in. But first, I just came back from a surf, and I look like a wet seal. So let's get ready and shower and talk about how we got here. This is my shower. I don't know why I'm showing this to you guys. It takes a long time for me to get off the sunscreen on my skin, which you guys can't really tell, but if you're surfing, you don't want your sunscreen to come off. So like literally, I'll show you guys. Yeah, that's what's on my face. So I'm gonna take that off and shower. Okay, I just hopped out of the shower. My room, I know it looks messy, but I also just cleaned the house yesterday, like full deep clean. I don't know how it looks like this now. Sorry. Literally cleaned it for like two hours straight, but whatever. I just want to show you guys kind of like my everyday lotion routine because I have eczema and if you guys have eczema, you should do this. The first thing I use is this hemp body lotion from the body shop. My parents used to go here all the time as consumers. They always would buy like body shop stuff, but I never went there because I thought it was like a boomer place, but then my friend Claire showed me this lotion that's like super eczema friendly and thick and if you have any dry spots you can just rub it and it's really good and it's not that expensive really like it and it just smells so nice honestly it smells like dirt but i kind of like the smell of dirt so that's the first thing i do i'll put that all over then i use a bit of of course aquaphor like i if i was stranded on an island i think aquaphor would be like my top three things i'd bring like this is the best chapstick, the best ointment. I remember when my eczema was so bad, I would just put this on the really dry crackly spots and it helped so much heal a lot of that dryness. So and then I also put it on my neck. All right, that's it. I'm also spraying some of this Biolance all-in-one multi hair spray detangler. It's essentially just, it just smells so good. I hate it when I spray stuff and it goes like right into my face. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Oh, okay. One more thing, I'm just gonna talk about it because this stuff really helps if you have toe fungus. Recently I've been getting toe fungus <laughs> and apparently it's super common with like athlete's foot, which <laughs> I guess I'm an athlete, I don't know. My friend Claire would always say like, yeah, like my toenail grows layers and gets really thick and fungus builds up. And I'd be like, what the fuck? And then I started to get it and I found this on Amazon and I, Billie Eilish said that she likes it. Not for toe fungus, but just to like help your nail grow stronger. So I've been putting this on my toes, which I'm gonna do right now like every day hopefully this helps because i'm literally growing the nastiest toe and also my toenail fell off on my right side so like i literally have the most disgusting feet like when people say like oh yeah i make money selling foot pics i'm like not me because like my feet are literally like so gross the next thing i do is clean my ears because after surfing in the ocean things can build up there so this is what i use big wave drops honestly this was kind of expensive Usually I use like this $5 ear wax cleaner from the store, but this does feel really good and it's apparently supposed to help calm your ears, which lately my ears have been like ringing and I think it's because I surf so much. It's because I surf so much. Like someone actually needs to take away my YouTube account because like I always watch this girl named Tara's World who vlogs her life and now I talk like her. It's crazy. Okay, so what you do is you take a few drops. It looks like urine. Honestly, but I just put it in my ear. Can't even find it. Oh, there we go. Ah! And then I like just lay here, swish it around. Then I take a paper towel and just dump it. Woo! Feels so good. You don't want to see what's in my ear. Yeah, so cleaning your ear is really important for surfing. Or you can use ear plugs, which I sometimes do, but I don't love them because I can't hear anything. Like when I use ear plugs when I'm surfing, I literally am like, it's like I'm deaf. Like I can't hear the waves coming, I can't hear people, hear people talking, like, and it's like, for me, kind of uncomfy. So I prefer doing this. I'll link it on my Amazon storefront, woo, because it's really good. If you do like any water sport, like scuba diving, swimming, even in a pool, this is really good. And I think it's better for you than like the drugstore, like ear cleaner. <sighs> it feels so good. <laughs> God, this is so good. Since we're on the topic of Jade's favorite products, I guess, I love my, Yeti cup. I know everyone's on the Stanley cup, but I got this at the Kelly Slater surf ranch So like how sick is this whenever I actually like walk around with this at any like surfing or like ski place people Think like I'm a professional athlete because like this is like people know this logo from being with Kelly Slater And then I told them no, I'm not a professional athlete. I just make TikToks about surfing and they're like, oh 
I know you guys are like, why are you talking about water? But like, let me get you on something. The Life water filter is way better than the Brita water filter, okay? I live in a place where the water, the tap water is absolute dog shit. It's like sewer water. The Brita honestly doesn't cut it for me, and but the Life water is like really good. It's a little bit more expensive. The, the container is the same price as the Brita, but the filters are like a little expensive. But best tasting water ever, okay? I know some people are like, I just drink tap water, but if you move to California and you taste our shitty ass water, you're gonna wish you had a, a life water. So yeah, again, <laughs> link it on my Amazon storefront, I guess. Gosh, influencer. Okay, so I'm needing to get breakfast, but before I do, I'm gonna do a little bit of arm rehab because I don't know, I like injured my shoulder snowboarding like a few months ago and I forget to do physical therapy on it all the time. And then I go surfing and then my arm hurts. I'm like, oh, why does it hurt? I'm like, Brick, you didn't, you didn't stretch. So this is what I do. So this is the shoulder that has problems, and all I do is try to stretch out the whatever ligament that is hurt. So I do this, I kind of do a 90 degree angle, and I do that, and I twist it this way. You hold it for like 30 seconds, and you kind of just keep doing that, and keep your shoulder 90 degrees. It is great stretch. For anyone who has any shoulder problems, you guys have to do this it's really good all right next thing i do i do that for longer is i like oh god this is the hardest one i like take my arm so it's behind my back and i try to grab my it with my other arm and i just stretch like this you guys like work at your desk all day this is a really great stretch besides way easier thing i do is a cat stretch really stretches again that muscle and as if i get up too fast it hurts Probably some guy who's like a physical therapist is like, what are you doing? But these are the things that I was told from people who are athletes to do. So, okay, if you want medical advice, don't listen to Jay. This is just what I do, okay? The next thing I do is I do a little bit of a head on the head and I look up. This is really good because it stretches out this muscle right here. And I have a lot of issues with that muscle. And then if I'm feeling fancy, I'll just Theragun my shoulders because Red Bull sent me a Theragun and I love it so much, so. I just do it right here. It does hurt a lot, but it feels so good! Ah! I'm glad you like me, cause I'm sharing you guys the most random stuff ever. If I could just recommend one thing for anyone who does do a lot of physical activities or loves a massage but doesn't wanna buy a massage every week, get a Theragun. This is the mini Thera, Theragun. Okay, this is my favorite breakfast ever. It's from Good Stuff. My parents love this spot and I love it even more. We got waffle, eggs, bacon. <sighs> All right, it is 11.40. Mia and Zane are gonna play some board games. We've been really into playing Patchwork, which is a really fun two-player games and I never really got to play board games growing up. I, I didn't really have siblings and my parents didn't like board games, so it makes me so happy that I get to play board games now as an adult with my boyfriend. Yay! And I always win. I'm not very good, guys, compared to this motherfucker. I'm gonna play now. All right, guys, it is 1.16. I need to leave it like in an hour, which is quite quick. So I'm gonna get ready with you guys and show you what I do. So I just blow drew my, blow drew? Blue dry, blue, blue dry my, I blowed my hair. And then I'm using this hair wax. Every time I do this, it works really badly, but I see people do it and it looks good. Do you guys see all these little hairs? We're gonna talk about the streamies while I tame down my little baby hairs because um, the streamies is one of the biggest events for all of entertainment. I, you could say like it's mainly for creators, but this award show is to highlight the top stars in all of entertainment internet media. Which is kind of crazy that I'm going. I quickly wanted to talk about this because I just wanted to like really describe to you how weird this is for me because- Also, this is kind of working. Can you guys see? It's kind of working. Okay. My dream when I was younger was always to go to the streamies to be a creator. And it's just funny because I never thought- the way I got here is how I would show up. Like, I thought I would go to the streamies, like, I'm invited as a creator, but I'm not. I basically got invited because I have my podcast with Karu, and we interviewed the founder of streamies on our podcast, 
and we kind of built a relationship with the founder drew you guys should check out that episode and like we kind of asked him like can we go and he said yes so we're like what it's like you don't know like no one just gets to invite it to the streamies like you either have to be a celebrity an internet star or like a manager of an internet star and like i'm none of that <laughs> like i'm not like you know the charlie d'amelio of the world so i just think it's crazy i got in just because i built a relationship around podcasts and the founder of stream i i just I just wanted to be like, damn, like that's crazy. And I just wanted to talk about this because I feel like sometimes we imagine an exact path on how we are gonna achieve our dreams, which most of the time can happen, but a lot of times you might achieve your dream, but you might not get there in the steps you thought was gonna happen. And I think that's okay. And I think I always beat myself up because I was like, oh, I'm not like a big creator. Like I'm not like a million, 10 million follower creator. Like I'm not living my dream, but like you can live your dream it just might look different than what you started with. And I just feel like so grateful really to go to the streamies because like, I never thought I would go here with only like a few hundred thousand subscribers, you know, like it's kind of a finesse. So I'm just really grateful. Thank you guys for watching this and thank you for supporting me. Like I'm not saying, I hope this is, it doesn't sound like I'm like, oh my God, you guys, you know, give a fuck about me and like, I'm not famous enough to go, but I'm actually even more grateful that I'm going not as like an invited creator. Like I think it's even more funny that I'm going like as a, friend and family of the streamies like I thought that was hilarious this the hair is gonna be straight it's a it's gonna be what it is okay I'm gonna do my makeup now and then walk you through that because we gotta go soon I look insane getting ready but we're doing it we're getting ready I have to leave fuck I have to leave in like 30 minutes <laughs> and I look like this I don't know if you guys can tell but I've been examining examining out I've been having a lot of eczema lately and it's not anything crazy it's just when I go surfing the ocean's not the cleanest water for you so I do have a lot of like redness so I'm gonna cover it up a little bit just because I don't want to look crusty on the award show I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter on my neck because I think it'll add like a nice little glow and it's a little sheer so we're just gonna add that bring it out with the euphoria brush 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 <laughs> oh my god I, this is why I'm always late. You see how like that just makes my neck. Okay, by the way, I have an update on my little thing right here because I told you guys I have a thyroid that's enlarged, which you guys can see here. I swear to God, in different lighting, it looks a lot smaller. If I turn off this light, I swear it's not as bad. Like see, like it's not as prominent. So I don't know. I feel like I scared a lot of people in my last video because my thyroid looked massive, but it's just, it's just this lighting that I honestly need to throw away. Like this lighting is so bad because it makes me look like I'm about to explode from my thyroid. Um, so I should probably stop using this lighting, but it just looks, it looks so good on the face, so I keep I keep that. So I'm not gonna link this on my Amazon store for fun because I actually don't recommend it, but I'm, I'm doing my makeup. I don't know what to tell you guys other than the fact that I'm freaking the fuck out. Like, it hasn't hit me that I'm going to the streamies and why is my contour muddy? Look at that. It looks like mud. I look like I've been gro- Bro, okay. Literally all the people that I look up to youtuber wise is gonna be there and actually one of my like enemies Not enemies just someone I don't really Think likes me honestly like someone that I think has a problem with me cuz like I don't know what happened But me and this youtuber you might know them actually which I'm not gonna say their name But like we we made similar content back in the day and we've literally collabed before like it's all fun and games Like I thought we were cool one day just so randomly like he's like, okay Like come over to my studio like let's film a video and like I was like cool like in person We saw each other at an event and then the time comes to film at whatever studio and he doesn't respond And usually like that happens. I'm like, okay. Yeah, whatever like like this person might be busy. So hey like Are you still down to shoot today? No response? Weird. So we never shot that day, right? Keep in mind, during this time, they were a little bit bigger than me, like, following size-wise. Like, they just surpassed me, which I thought was, like, whatever. Like, I don't really care. Like, we obviously started from the bottom and now we're here, you know? And then, these people just didn't reply. So I was like, the next day, I was like, hey, like, are we filming? No response. I don't want to be annoying, so I wait a week. I say, hey, like, is everything good? No response. And then, every time I see them at events, because I do see them at events occasionally, they'll act super nice to me, like, to my face, or, like, they're not gonna talk to me, but they at least like acknowledge my presence. But then when when I text them or like DM or anything, they just are silent. I just feel like, what, did I do something wrong? Like, I don't know. The only thing you can think about is like this person got like really famous or like bigger than me. Don't have any more use for them. Because like before, I'm not joking, when I was bigger than this person, this person would call me up, like ask for claps. I would go to their whatever studio we'd film 
and like I just I just got so turned off by this whole experience. I was like, bro, like I do something wrong. I don't know. Upset. I was really upset because I really also like this person's particular content. Like I would actually like really like their content as a creator. So now I can't watch them. And now they're at the streamies. They probably don't give a fuck about me. To be honest, like I'm their least of worries, which is totally fine. Like I hope that's the case. It's just like I'm kind of sad because I just wish knew like why they stopped talking to me. What are you gonna do? It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's totally fine. I swear to God, so that's a blessing. I know it sucks, but it's like a blessing in disguise because like now I know their true colors and like I'm not gonna like work with them again ever. It happens a lot in LA. Like you guys would be so surprised like how many people treat you differently based on your following count, which to me is literally insane because we all started from nothing. So why are you treating people differently? Although I understand because when I was in high school, I used to be kind of like an asshole. Like I would believe like if you're not like grinding or being an entrepreneur, I believe like you weren't as good as me or some whatever because I had like an ego. That is not how I feel anymore. Trust me guys, like I don't care what people do. Like I honestly respect people that aren't really ambitious in their work because like they can find meaning in other parts of their life. Long story short, LA people are crazy like I feel like people are just insane about their work and nothing else and it's really a turnoff lol as I sit here and I live in LA but I mean I live in a part of LA that's less attached to that lifestyle it's a lot more chill like I live by the beach and we just surf all day I just feel sometimes insecure that I'm like not as big as my friends that I started with because I have friends that are really fucking famous and that's so cool like I'm happy for them I also never wanted that life where I was like Famous where I couldn't go outside. It's just kind of weird because I, I feel like they look down on me Which they probably don't give a fuck about me. They're probably like Jade We do not have time to think about you in my head I'm like a little embarrassed, but I know deep down like the grass is always greener, right? Like I might be sitting here like oh, I wish I had what they had they're so like established They're getting nominated for awards. I'm just there as an attendee But like they're probably like I don't know sitting there like you know what like I actually wish like I had more of a balance like I wish I could go outside and like do what you do, Jade, and like surf all day and like build your dream life. At least that's what I hope. Yeah, the grass is always greener. Like I do know that. Like no matter how much I romanticize other lives, gotta be thankful for my life. Which I am. I really am grateful for my life. It's just sometimes when you go to these award shows, you can't help but think, what if? You know? I need to finish my makeup. I'm gonna get back to you when I'm almost done. Oh my lord, we just pulled it together. I have to go. I'm like late, of course. But this is the makeup. And then this is the outfit. Um, the shoes will look different. You'll see different shoes because I can't drive in the shoes I brought, so. Also, because I always forget, make sure you comment below Darmination if you're so far entering this video because it helps me out and I really appreciate it. So comment below Darmination um, and tell me about yourself. All right, enjoy this montage. I love you. Shout out to the winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. All right, guys, so we are on the way to the streamies um this is we were just talking about this but this is actually the biggest finesse moment if not ever or just this season like season oh my god like we have to what's, manifest what's even bigger next? like after this literally what's next <laughs> if not the streamies the grammys like but literally <laughs> like what what could actually top this Karu feels confident that we're gonna walk the red carpet, which if you guys don't know, like apparently not everyone walks the red carpet, right? Not everybody. But we are going to. How do you know that though? You feel like Drew's gonna I be just, like, okay. I, I just feel like we're gonna Cause you already did it once, so you're yeah, like, you like, know what, fuck it. The shoes, I didn't show you guys, but these are the fucking bitch ass shoes that I'm gonna wear tonight. Are those Manolos? They're dupes, they're Amazon dupes. <laughs> my little gems. What's your outfit from? Um, my outfit's from Sandro, my watch is Rolex, my nails. <laughs> You know, have you seen those TikToks? <laughs> How much does your outfit cost? Excuse me. Uh, uh, um, I'm wearing Crocs. Uh, I got him those. Yes, this is Jade got me these Crocs. These are then... Crocs bags. That's my bag. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're too wopped. Um, see you, I guess, at the red carpet. I honestly don't know how this works. Like, I guess Kari says we're going to have a little bit of a drink and a nipple. So if I see Tana Mojo, I'll let you guys know. Streamy Awards. We are here on the streamies. Trying to sneak on the red carpet. We're trying to sneak in. It's not working so far, but we're trying. 